Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at the TIGWELD 200EX. It's a 220 volt machine with a 25% duty cycle. It's capable of doing gas tungsten arc welding both in the AC and the DC mode. It's also capable of stick welding in the AC and the DC mode and it operates from 10 to 200 amps. So today we're going to take a look at some of the different welds that we can make using gas tungsten arc welding. So hang out for a few minutes and let's see what it can do. So I went over to our local steel vendor, Nailer Steel, and picked up a couple of pieces of half inch material. I brought them back to the shop and tacked them up. The weld symbol for something like this would look just like this. So this is a fillet weld on the arrow side. I set the machine for 120 amps DC power and started to weld and tried to keep the joint full and adding enough filler metal just to keep it full enough that I didn't have any overlap but also that I didn't have any undercut at either the upper or lower toes. Here's what I had after the first pass. So using the lower edge of the first weld as my center line for the second pass, I proceeded to fill in and make a second weld that would be halfway onto the base material and halfway up onto the previous weld. So I'm going to make sure that I kept the puddle full and added in filler just as I needed. On the third pass, I kept the tungsten pointed towards the upper edge of the second weld and also making sure that I melted in and absorbed the top edge of the first weld. So I'm trying to stack one right on top of each other, one weld, then two on top of that, and then three, and so on thereafter. So the fourth, fifth, and sixth welds would be layered on just like the previous two. The first one goes along the lower edge. The second one uses the top edge of the previous weld as its center line. And then the final weld will be up at the upper edge at the top toe. So now here's the second pass on the third layer here. So once again, trying to keep it full, keep the tip of that rod right in the stream of the gas, and trying to keep the tungsten down there as close as possible to give us the best penetration and best appearance. Then finally, for the third pass, we use the upper edge of that second weld and fill in between that weld and the vertical plate, making sure that we fill in both sides and keep it full and always on the constant lookout for undercut along that upper edge. So we want to make sure that we keep a close eye on that top edge. That's something that the inspector will come and pick, pick on you real quickly if you have a lot of undercut. So make sure that you keep that full and don't have any undercut there and you keep the inspector out of your hair. So thanks again for hanging out for a few minutes and taking a look at some of the capabilities of the TIGWELD 200EX. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more about this machine and others, take a look at our website, longevity-inc.com. So thanks again for hanging out and we hope to see you back here real soon.